So I'm back finally. Been kind of a little bit busy lately, um, traveling and whatnot. I actually went this past weekend to Virginia. Um, if anybody hasn't seen my Instagram yet, I have uh, decided to leave my day job and actually go and get full time into the fitness industry. I'm going to be training at World Gym Music City. Uh, it opens in a couple of weeks on the 22nd. It's the grand opening, um, and I will be um, one of the trainers there. Um, so that'll uh, give me some time also to work on the online thing, uh, building up my team and that type of thing. So I'm stoked to, to be doing what I love full time. Excited to, to get to do that. I was asked if I was going to do these shirtless. I do basically everything shirtless, so why not? Here I am. Um, and I've gotten a little bit leaner now, so that kind of starts happening as that, as that goes on. Um, some of the footage that I have is from the very first leg day that I did on a Wednesday um, after prep started. So I'm going to throw um, throw that footage up in here, um, let you guys see. You know that day I go through some supplements. Uh, you get to see the, the exercises that I did on that leg day, just a, a set you know a set of all of it. And then um, I'm going to actually come back and kind of talk about what I did and where I'm at now um, and then some of the next steps as far as my prep and then everything just that I have going on in life. Um, again, if anybody has any questions or anything or anything they want me to talk about, um, I'm definitely going to do the flexible dieting talk soon uh, versus clean eating or whatever. Um, definitely going to go with, with that conversation soon. I'm hoping also to have a couple of uh, my athletes on here uh, kind of go through so like interview type stuff. Um, just to kind of give you know some experience on prep that's not specifically mine uh, besides uh, you know my coaching philosophies and that type of thing um, so thank you guys for checking this out uh, check out the footage from the first leg day and I'll be back with you guys in a minute what's up guys uh, headed to do some legs here in a few minutes actually came home to uh, grab my camera it doesn't have an SD card in it so that's gonna have to wait a couple of days um, that should get here on Friday, so I should be able to do a little bit more in-depth videos with that. Hopefully going to be able to mash some phone videos together from the gym tonight, working out with my friend Taylor. So she said she'd take some videos for me, so I should have some good footage from, from leg day tonight. Um, otherwise, I worked overtime today, so guys, don't forget, you know, you got to have a career as well. You got to make sure you take care of everything so you can body build. Don't let it, don't let it consume your life and, and keep you from actually being able to to afford things and to do things so that's something that i've kind of learned the hard way over the past couple of years um so just make sure that you you know you have everything in order and that you, you don't get distracted too much by the bodybuilding thing uh, but i'm going to go ahead and head out and go make a few gains and i will see you guys when i'm done just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of kind of my supplement regimen uh pre-leg day today um my carbs are pretty high right now very high actually, um, but I'm still, I've noticed a little bit, of, I've tightened up a little bit the past couple of days. Um, one thing I add in right now uh, to my pre-workout, Gatorade. I like the fast sugars, I like the, um, the extra energy it gives me, and then I do track that. And uh, I did have somebody actually request that I do a, uh, or, or mention that I might do uh, a video on flexible dieting versus clean eating. That'll be down the road. I don't want to ruffle those feathers just yet. I'm hoping to to gain a few followers before I make anybody too mad. Other thing that I'm taking pre-workout, NOXP3, um, straight from NutriShop Bellevue. Not a lot of caffeine, only 100 megs, but uh, plenty of vasodilators. Leg day tonight, uh, I'm kind of backing off a little bit from the power lifting type split or power building type split, so it's gonna be a little higher volume tonight. So I will actually go for a four by five on squat. Uh, I'm gonna shoot for 315 on those. Um, not super impressive, but um, it's higher than I've ever been, uh, you know, as far as the volume, you know, you know, during your prep. So I'm excited about that. We'll see how it goes.
so shout out to my friend Taylor for the, the leg day footage there. Um, she's going to be working out with me a good bit during prep, so probably have a lot of footage from her. And then um, maybe I'll actually be able to get her to, to talk a little bit or something too. Um, so saw leg day there, did uh, four by fives on squats, trying to maintain a little bit of strength throughout this process. You know, one thing a lot of people do is they take down their, um, you know, the, the loads on the, the lifts that they're doing. Um, and, you know, that's, especially for natural athletes, that's something you want to avoid because, you know, if you start teaching your body, well, hey, you know, we're not going to gonna be moving this heavy weight anymore, you know, so you can let go of some muscle. So, you know, it's important to try to stay heavy, uh, you know, as much as possible going throughout a prep. And obviously there is the place for the auxiliary work um, where you're going a little bit lighter for more reps and that type of thing. Um, went into the leg press there. Uh, and then you saw some uh, extensions and uh, power squats, I believe and then um, finish with some leg curls. Something I'm focusing on a lot this prep is making sure that I'm stimulating growth in, uh, or stimulating at least the maintenance of muscle um, pretty regularly. So what I've been doing is uh, touching on different muscle groups, um, you know, either earlier or later in the week, depending on what I'm working, and then <clears throat> I'll come back and actually have the full workout for that muscle group later in the week or touch it later in the week if, if I did it early in the week. Um, that's going to come in handy too as I get into uh, you know two a day work where I'm doing full workouts uh, for muscle groups twice a week. Uh, I'm already hitting legs twice a week, but I'm just touching the opposite side, so I'm doing quads and then uh, touching hamstrings, and then later I'll do hamstrings and, and uh, mix in some squats and that type of thing. So just you know, a little bit on my philosophy there. Uh, again, important to, to kind of go heavy. Um, Something else, let's see, what else have I got going on? Dropped my, my fats down again. Uh, so I have, have actually lost about eight pounds since prep started, and this is my third week, third week of prep. Um, looking to try to get a little bit leaner faster this time. Uh, I don't want to be scrambling at the end, and also I've got some, some ideas for, for, um, for this prep that, that I, hadn't, I haven't really talked about yet uh, to a lot of people. Um, so we'll see what happens, and I do, like I said, I just want to get leaner a little bit faster. Um, I'm going to be going to Mississippi this coming weekend, um, hoping to get to work out with, with several of my athletes and clients, um, trying to talk a couple of them in, like I said, to doing podcasts with me or uh, YouTube with me, um, kind of get a little different perspective on prep and, and again, my coaching style and all that. Um, foods lately, I've been still been able to make just about whatever I wanted fit, haven't had pizza since prep, since prep started. Um, I don't think I've had a burger either, but if I wanted to, I could. I've had lots of eggs and you know fat-free cheese and that type of thing. So so far so good. Uh, I haven't felt hungry as far as that goes. Um, I can tell my emotions are a little, or my you know hormones and stuff are a little up and down and that type of thing. Just you know from the dieting and being in a deficit, I, I notice that I start to to feel things a little bit differently when I'm when I'm in a uh, and when I'm in a deficit. So you know that's just something to, to keep in mind. You know when you're in prep, if you you start thinking about things differently or you see things a little bit differently just keep in mind that you're, you're a little foggy because uh, you know things hormones and things are being affected you know especially you know whether you're natural or not you're, you're either supplementing with hormones or you're or you're you know messing with your own so either way it's just important to, to try to keep your keep a level head on prep and just to step back and really um, you know think about things uh, you know logically so, so that you're not you know overtaken with with whatever you're feeling so but like I said, I mean, it hasn't been too bad or anything. Just I can just tell, um, you know, a little bit of a difference with prep, and and that does get you know a little more intense as you get uh, more and more depleted and that type of thing. So just something to keep in mind if you if you are going to prep that you know your your head's not going to always be exactly right. So just try to avoid making any dumb decisions or or anything like that or taking anything out on anybody that you care about or whatever because that's that could very you know very well happen. So just just try to think about things logically and you know step back sometimes. Um, uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to getting full time in the fitness industry, hoping to do some traveling, that type of thing. You know, maybe whether it's weekends or whatever. Um, you know, even if it's just to, to home or you know a short trip to Atlanta or something like that. Um, you know, I just I want to get out and try to try to meet people and do things and, and uh, you know build build this brand. I've got some other business ideas, um, t-shirts and that type of thing. So we'll see where all that goes. You know, if anybody's got any ideas or wants to collaborate, you know, let me know. Uh, shoot me a message, text, whatever. Um, you know, always looking for ways to make money. So um, just let me know if anybody has anything that, that they want to collaborate with or whatever. Um, again, any questions or anything anybody has? Uh, had a great leg day again tonight. 
um, was actually able to do 335 for 4x5s again, um, getting leaner, but you know maintaining a little bit of strength. And I know that's going to go away eventually. I'm just hoping it's a little bit higher than it has been in the past because I did have such a good offseason. Um, tomorrow, I actually am I'm training with Taylor tomorrow. We have shoulders or we have arms and then I'm touching shoulders because I did shoulders this week already once. Um, so I'm hoping to get a little footage. I may actually go ahead and, and record a little in the morning uh, with some food, kind of kind of what I eat in the mornings and, and uh, you know, maybe my snacks or whatever throughout the day and that type of thing. Um, so I might have an, another video out pretty soon. Um, so hoping to, hoping to start doing this more regularly, especially with the new job and the schedule that I'm going to have. I should have some, some open time, you know, whether in the morning or day or, or even at night. So, you know, again, any questions or anything anybody has, uh, like I said, I'm going to do the flexible diet and clean eating thing. I wanted, I'm going to talk a little bit about training philosophies too, and then also um, something else that I want to talk about is ketogenic dieting versus you know just low carb or low fat or whatever. I want to kind of kind of dispel some myths there and go over different things with that. So um, you know anything anybody wants to see, let me know. Um, otherwise, um, I am just uh, just working through everything, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks, guys, for checking in.